Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning and thank you for joining us. It is Friday, October 23rd. I'm Kelly Byrne. We're getting right to our forecast with meteorologist Stefano DiPietro. Another warm day for us. A very warm day compared to average. We're going to make it to the upper 60s, even the lower 70s, which is a little cooler than what we had yesterday. But a lot of that will have to do with the clouds lingering a little more today. But for the next 12 hours, the average high is still right around the upper 50s. So we are still running a good 10 to 15 degrees above average today. And as far as that cloud cover is concerned this morning, we have that along with a few areas of patchy fog and even an isolated pocket of drizzle that most of us will escape the day without even seeing. Now we will get some sunshine back this afternoon and depending who sees more sun, that tells us upper 60s or lower 70s for today. With more sun, better shot to get into the 70s. Tonight we drop down to the 50s, 62 tomorrow, a shower in the morning. We're drying out in the afternoon. Starting with sun on Sunday, clouds increase through the afternoon. Take a look through next week, Kelly. We're locked in the 50s. All right, Stefano, thank you. With the final presidential debate in the books, Joe Biden is scheduled to return to our area this weekend. According to a release from Biden's campaign, he and his wife, Dr. Jill Biden, will be in Luzerne County tomorrow. They plan on talking about building back the economy for working families and encouraging Pennsylvanians to make a plan to vote. Additional details about the event have not yet been released. There is a significant increase in the number of new coronavirus cases reported in Pennsylvania, but there is a catch. The State Department of Health says there were more than 2,000 new cases in the Commonwealth. That's one of the highest numbers reported since the beginning of the pandemic. However, a faulty data file was sent to the system by a laboratory earlier this week. That means some of the cases being reported on Thursday should have been reported on Wednesday. The total number of cases in the state is now at more than 180,000. Remember, if you would like more eyewitness news or more on your forecast, you can head to our website, pahomepage.com.